spiritual healer. Anyone needs any personal readings, sacred spiritual healer at gmail.com. Inner child work. The link for information is, or some of the information is in the link below, I should say. And we are going to get started. These videos tend to go long. So I've already shuffled and meditated on all the cards that we use. Spirit wants me to start first with the advice um, cards. So the child card is on the bottom. Okay. So you need it's a seven card and you need to do inner child healing. Things from way many moons ago. You can see all the moons all the way around her. So this tells me that you need to go back um, deep, not just in your inner child, but also in your past of uh, when you were young adult, when you know maybe married, things that have occurred that have changed the uh, way you think or perceive certain things or have built up a fear. I'll get back to that in a second, okay? I'm going to do the next card. Three and one, it's a 31, so this comes down to a four. Like stable or assured. Um, this is a lower world, so things in your past that were dark or made you think um, negative thoughts of yourself, negative dark energies, um, causing fear of the unknown, causing fear of things to happen in the dark, things that are smoggy and that you didn't want to see, you didn't want to delve into, maybe you've already done a lot of your inner child healing, but you're not going deep enough. Spirit says that you need to go in the dark parts of your soul to and ask what you need to heal that you don't want to face, the things that you didn't want to see. For some people, and this is just an example, um, no hate or shame in the comments, um, if someone was raped, say, then that would be something that they usually try to block out as, you know, a child. Um, or if you repetitively had something happen to you, even as a young adult, then you now have repressed and don't want to face it in your inner child healing. Spirit says you have to go ask your spirit guides to show you what you don't want to see. Show you those things that you don't want to see, you don't want to face to heal because you have to heal them to move forward. Okay, and the seer card is a 945. That's a very cool card. The seer card is the spirit that's going to show you and lead you down into this lower world, into the dark of your past when you meditate and ask spirit, ask the seer to show you these things that you don't want to face so that you can then see them in your mind fresh, perhaps as if they are just occurring and stop it, heal it, forgive those and cut the cords to that event cut the cords to the people that caused you harm and forgive yourself. Forgive yourself also for pushing it so deep and not bringing it up and healing sooner. When you meditate and you ask your spirit guide to go with you and the seer will show you these things that you're pushed and repressed. going to go in. These are things that perhaps are even only uh, events that happened that caused you to change your perception or build up the fear in your mind or exaggerated the fear in your mind of what could happen, what did happen. See it for what it is.
and don't blame yourself for the things that happened, but forgive yourself for not healing. So, I'm going to ask your spirit guide to go with you. Perhaps when you meditate, um, look have a candle nearby and just stare at the flame as it dances to get you to like visualize the um, events going backwards or you can just lay down and close your eyes and look kind of towards your forehead with your eyes closed if you're not used to visualizing uh, to what we would call journey right because that's what you're doing you're journeying back down to the lower parts of your soul the dark parts that you don't want to see the dark parts that have hurt you that need healing to move forward to ascend to raise your vibration. This is a four and one, which is a five, and it's a parakeet flying through many moons with rainbows. So, um, you know, as promised, the uh, there's always. A rainbow after the storm, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, um, so trust, trust in the promise that you will be safe with your spirit guide as you journey. This is part of the tree of life. You have to heal all things, the roots, the things that change how you grow. Go back down and heal them so that it doesn't continue to spoil as it grows, as you grow. It's a three card for lightning. And you hear the thunder first. And then soon comes the lightning. The spirit, this is your thunder. This message is your thunder. You've been warned and the lightning will be coming. If you can't remember it, then you'll get a tower and spirit will show it to you again and again. So I'm going to take these back up. These are the Shaman Oracle deck. If anyone is wondering. Okay. Messages for the collective spirit. What messages do you have for the collective? childhood hurts and again you can see that these things uh, these cards that come out tend to resonate with the cards that we just read the message from spirit so the first one up was list childhood hurts by ages ask spirit guide to help you recall these areas that need to heal for example when you go into meditation one night or at a time ask for to see the hurts from ages one to five and go in and do the healing maybe the next day do the ages of six to ten eleven to fifteen and so forth group them by a few years so that you can have time to rest in between each group as you heal some are going to take a lot longer to heal from so do the forgiving of yourself and the others Drink lots of water and get lots of rest when you're doing the inner child healing because it does take a lot out of you to recall those traumatic uh, events. Get to know yourself truly. 
Okay, and for healing, black tourmaline provides uh, psychic protection, releases toxins, toxic energy, and relieves jet lag. All right, so they have uh, black tourmaline comes in like the bracelets or as the necklaces. Um, you can get at the local metaphysical store. Also comes in, of course, rough. Form. I think I have this one. Oops, so you can get it in a polished or a raw. And then be sure and cleanse your black tourmaline items uh, in salt water or recharge them in the full moon. Alright, that helps cleanse off any uh, ne anything that they've picked up. Alright, so the next one is yellow tourmaline, solar plexus. This is your, your solar plexus, right? Is your um, courage, your strength, your intuition house. Also heals liver, spleen, kidneys, gallbladder issues. So you can get a yellow tourmaline. I have it. I don't know where it is. I guess it might be that one. But um, if you heal or have it in your pocket, sometimes you can get a small one and just keep uh, kind of rubbing on it. And then you'll absorb the healing energies from it as well as just having it nearby also heals from the energy. All right, also angels are with you. So when you go on the journey for your inner child healing, know that your angels are around you to uh, help you heal from those issues. Bloodstone, uh, blood cleanser banishes evil and negative energy. So um, there you go on those. All right. Forgive yourself, let it go, whatever it is that um, you're still holding on to against a past lover or your wife, ex-husband, etc. Um, just let it go and forgive yourself for the hurts that you uh, haven't healed yet and go in and do that healing. Tell yourself, I forgive you for allowing that person to hurt me. Remember, it's not saying this is, um, by forgiving yourself, it's not accepting blame for something that happened. Um, it's, the, when you forgive someone, it heals you, it helps you heal, and that's why we say to go in and forgive yourself and let it go. Balance your third eye chakra. This is uh, your uh, seer, right? Call on Archangels uh, Metatron, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Muriel, Uriel, Gabriel, Christiel, Jophiel, and Shemuel. These are all here to help you balance and activate your chakras. They also will help you in the time of need. Archangel Michael is healing. So when you cut the cords, you uh, could ask Archangel. Angel Michael to heal the wounds or uh, voids in your soul that you've plucked the cords from and that they fill those voids with unconditional love for yourself. Okay. And balance your sacral chakra is number two. That's your reproductive um, area below your belly button. or no, I don't, I'm not sure. If you're asking if they know, yes, they know. So they know your, the counterparts' lies, they know the karmic, they know, you know, especially for the high priestess, right, we know there's a knowing that we know. Even without being told um, that they're lying, we know the truth behind the lie. 555, five, five. if you're seeing the 555, five, five, this is change is occurring. Spirit or the universe is moving things around at this moment for your higher good. 
may not necessarily be what you were asking for, but it will be in a way that's for your highest good. Rest, meditate for clarity. Walk in nature. After I do these, I plan on going for a walk with the dogs. Six, six, six. Rethink it. Step back. Ask yourself in spirit if what you are currently doing is right for you or wrong for you. I dropped another one. Optical illusion. Take another look. At this time, we, there's uh, with the valve thing a lot going on. So check to see if it's an optical illusion. This one is 777. It's for inner strength. I've been actually seeing this a lot lately. Release your fear. Be strong of heart. Look forward to your future with excitement. I'm excited. I love this cooler weather. <laughs> Do you, right? Work on your self-love. It's not selfish. It's needed before loving others. All right. So I'm going to leave those there. Get you. Again, these are the witch tarot cards. Anyone that's offended by the fact that there are little witches on the cards, then look away. <laughs> There's good witches in there. I hope anyone that is doing uh, witchcraft that you do no harm to others and don't practice black magic in the negative manner. A lot of times we do uh, protection of self, putting mirrors up, putting walls up. That's still considered black magic, and that's fine. It's only when you're causing harm to others that you'll reap the negative karma back. Okay, the West Witch, she's got her fall uh, of abundance. She's filled her, I see she's also got a, a third eyes open. There's birds in the background, the sun is coming up, there's fall leaves everywhere. But she's following her true direction of the West and she is the West Witch. There's that, let me read the message. usually use these so I'm going to look up the little saying in the book. All right. So the West Witch predicts a gift for you along with divine intervention or strange coincidences. The sun finally sets on a stinking situation that can neither be gazed upon nor held for long. Autumn and sunsets may be significant time for ending negative influences and beginning good ways. In the eerie darkness of night, the West Witch spirit murmurs their ether presence. Strengthened by rest, you are illuminated by real change of heart and mind. Aww. Second one is the pumpkin, Halloween Witch, which we have Halloween coming up. She again has her broom as if it's her staff and for guidance and the full moon in the background and spirits beside her. Other people might refer to it as a ghost. <laughs> She's green so her heart chakra is open. Right? Making her a good witch. There's a smile on the pumpkin. <laughs> She's going to make pie with the pumpkin. Let's see. Halloween witch. Hang on. Okay. So, mysteriously... A new year begins for you on Halloween, October 31st. A door opens into another world. Perhaps you're changing timelines or traveling between dimensions with astro travel. Very good. Although 
let's see, you may see dreams of those you love, or who, although have passed from this world to the next, they still are here beside you and want to help you. A potential lover will be thinking of you before being driven to open their heart to you. Patience spurred on by ambition makes waiting easy for you. All right, well, I guess we could take the uh, spirits are with you at this time because the veil is so thin, right? And for those on our journey, would resonate with the lovers thinking of you because your counterpart is always thinking of you. Then we have the silver moon, which all three of these are moon. Which, uh, let's just see, the silver moon, which number two. She, it looks like she's kind of juggling the moons during their phases. Sorry, this takes me a while to find these things. I don't usually use the book. Alright. The Feminine Moon Witch. The Mistress of Women turns the tide of time in your favor. The next new or full silver moon will reveal your progress. A full moon magnetizes water into waves, so choose your moment to question whether you are swimming with the tide or against it. Happy days will arrive soon, spontaneously. All right, let's get to the rest of the reading. Let's just do um, one card for the Divine Masculine, one card for the Divine Feminine Spirit. True and precise message for the Divine Feminine. True and precise message for the Feminine. Thank you, Spirit. I got two already. Okay, Spirit said those are both the Feminines. All right. Two uh, then for the divine masculine. All right, you're getting sarcastic on me. Really? get four evidently. All right, so we have the deer, very earth energy. This is the mother energy. She's very mothering and nurturing to her, her fawns. The green all around shows that she's in her light. She's in her power. She's uh, following intuition and her heart chakra, both upper heart chakra and lower are both wide open, full of love, unconditional love as, uh, as a mother would be, right? And this could be for the mass, or uh, it's for the chasers. This one's, we always call it the divine feminine, but if you woke up first, then it's still, you're the one that's nurturing the connection. So the turtle, in emotions, jet black background right now, and I'm seeing the red all around. Um, so their chakras are open and balanced. Spirit is leading them out of the emotions, but currently this feminine is deep in motion, emotions um, and trying to climb up out of our emotions, hopefully not depressed. The red is just uh, almost upset, maybe a little bit of fiery energy. She's um, I'm drawn to the shell, so she's uh, covered, you know, being like defensive as she's in her emotions climbing out. It's going to take a lot of meditation and healing. Uh, forgive yourself. Um, don't try to focus so much if this is about a third party with your uh, divine counterpart. Don't focus on the karmic. Most of them already have uh, moved on. They're not... Uh, spirit has taken care of that and you can trust spirit to e eradicate that situation. Let's 
guess that's it. Let's wait and see if there's anything else for that. Okay, so the black egg for this group of masculines um, are in the ethers. They are uh, ready. They're still in their cocoon. They're not being woken up. The counterpart, which would be the, the feminines, um, are there. They need to do the feminine to this group. Okay, have to do more work on themselves, their inner work, and send love and uh, energy, healing energy, to the five day, right? To awaken them from their cocoon, to help them crack open, follow the light, and do the emotion work, which will connect them to you, right? That will bring you in connection. But there are still some in the ethers, or in the five day per se, that are not being woken up by their counterparts and so they need to send the healing energy to their counterparts up in the 5D as above so below and for the other mass feminines that are healers and uh, empaths, empaths you can also be sending healing energy uh, love and light to this group of masculines in the 5D that are not being woke by their own feminines you know, it's possible maybe their own feminines are passed on, but there are a group still in the 5D not being awoken. The beaver uh, works hard in the uh, dark, in the waters, um, in the emotions, the dark and in the emotion. This beaver is wanting to come out. This of the water and, and the deep emotions to take care of its family to be connected to their divine feminine but they are not spirits really focusing on the fact that they're a group that's not being awoken they're still in a cocoon of 5D they need their feminines to or others to help awaken them So this one is this group of masculines. They um, gladly are diving down into their emotions, taking a look at things, healing themselves now, and looking at why and understanding the science behind this journey, looking things up perhaps. They understand the connection. They understand what's going on. They Spirit uh, has enlightened them. So their heart chakras are opening. Their uh, intuition with the blue uh, light right their crown chakra is opening all that's coming open so they can pay attention to what the divine source is telling them and the downloads they're receiving and that they know that their spirit guides are with them and they are uh, feeling the emotions and feeling loved and um, seeing changes in themselves as they emerge from their emotions you are mirroring each other the swan of course is the water also uh, the swans are this is uh, they understand that they feel you, they uh, hear you in the telepathic communication. They understand that. Uh, so, as above, so below, that they are following their. Um, that you are their light, and they are following their higher consciousness, their yeah. crown chakra. And they just see you as their counterpart, as vibrant. Um, your aura is just vibrant, and your words are music to their ears. All right, so that's that group. So let's see what we get with the reading. I'm gonna set this here so when this is done, you don't forget to send some loving energy to those that are up there, even if they're not your counterpart. They can still use your love and light, their, your healing energy. As a high priestess, you have the power to heal. So if you're doing the work, you're raising, you're sending light. True and precise messages, spirit, true and precise messages. Collective. 
starting off with the Four of Wands and the Seven of Wands, leaving things that no longer serve him, looking forward, moving out of the storm. Page of Pentacles. Being loyal and bringing forth a gift to you. Preparing for the Four of Wands union. Eleven and eleven and eleven is near. I don't know why I have to say the eleven eleven is near. November eleventh, it. Leaving behind devil energy. I'll read these again. I'm just getting the cards out. on the bottom of the deck, Divine Feminines. Divine Feminine cards. Please take the type messages for the Feminines of this collective wave. Two precise messages for the Feminines of this collective wave. Thank you. Deck's upside down. more please. No, three more. Three more for the feminists. How's this pasta? I thought I switched it. Three more please for the feminists. Thank you. One more. group again knows the connection sees you as the one that he can have a stable um, future with um, even the um, inner child understanding of the inner child and the importance of healing them together because there's little birds here and here all right also a reason to celebrate coming together, finding each other, finally being able to uh, hold one another. Okay, Seven of Wands, ready to move forward to you out of the stormy clouds, carrying his staff of belief uh, in the science of this and leaving behind what no longer serves him. He knows he uprooted his old ways of thinking, his old beliefs, and is working on just the science, uh, learning and studying about the science of this journey, this connection, so he can better understand it. The divine is giving him the understanding in his uh, crown chakra that with downloads. Um, he wants to be your loyal partner, loyal to you, while he studies this page of pentacles. He also knows uh, to bring preparing to bring forth a gift, a token of love. He also knows he needs to put away the devil energy, um, cut the chains and be free of any um, indulgence of sexual um, habits, or not habits, uh, indulgence, sexual indulgence, um, whatever they are. His third eye is open. He's listening to his um, higher self. Wow. Yeah. Something about the 
flowers. Okay, I'm going to bring this up here. This is weird. Because usually you would see two chains going from the devil's uh, box to each, right? And this one, this woman has flowers going from this chain to her. I don't know if you can see that. to cut the chains because he knows he wants to have growth with you because you're the flower let's see what else I get with that Okay, Four of Swords, as we know, he is, has his hands on his face. He's in the belief of the um, Twin Flame journeys. He's protecting the flame here. Um, and while he's laying in the cold, he is actually healing himself. So he's just resting there, putting his hands on his face and healing. These are just marking territory and his spirit guides are around him. And he is listening to his spirit guides while they protect him. All right. We have six of wands. As we know, the six of wands, these people are, uh, she is standing up for what she believes in with her twin, regarding her twin. Um, these are the one people in the family that are against this union or connection, the belief uh, that maybe they don't believe the way as you do in the science of this journey. But could be people gossiping at work as well, standing, uh, trying to uh, poke uh, to fire you up, like uh, to to get you to react, to for you to engage in their games, to provoke. There you go. Thank you, Spirit. To provoke you. They're trying to provoke you against this connection. But they are coming. Uh, there's going to be fast moving communication. This also reminds me of 1111. And uh, the divine masculines are uh, coming forward fast. This hawk here has a Superman cape on with the star. And the communication is um, to the, towards the divine um, regarding this connection for guidance, I'm hearing. Uh, the communication is towards the divine because they're aimed upward and so they're getting this communication to the divine regarding the connection on the next movement the next move sorry uh, the star uh, these are the divine feminine that you are the star uh, you are uh, still high vibration and using your uh, magic or manifesting, right? Um, following your higher self's intuition and your intuition. And you recently probably could have had a tower moment. However, you're, it's not affecting you um, in a negative way. You're still just floating around, um, sprinkling your fairy dust, making it all right because we're in a high vibration. That tower is not going to phase us, right? We're going to stay positive and, uh, and move forward in our journey. Uh, keep your head up, keep your focus on your counterpart, and keep building your pentacles um, and your your emotions here right now are calm waters and you are blossoming with all these flowers all around you don't ask me the name of the flowers, the one might be tulips <laughs> yeah, I don't know we'll go with white roses and tulips, okay? <laughs> that is a sign for anyone but you're holding your head up high focusing on your counterpart this is the number nine coins for synchronicities okay so we have the eight of swords um, you're feeling a bit blind like you're blindfolding yourself keeping yourself tied up and these all these swords coming at you are, are an illusion because spirit has your back. Um, you need to come
come up out of the uh, darkness, the lower world energy, this full moon with darkness around it is like you feel stuck because of something in your lower world still that you aren't willing to release and let go of. This is where that first meta uh, cards were about the child, the seer in the lower world. Um, this is that energy. This is showing you that you need to go in and heal that past hurt. All right, the Seven of Wands. Um, you're standing your ground, holding your uh, sword of, or wand of truth up. It, coming through the gate, of the doorway. You've walked through a door of another uh, dimension. And possibly someone has even changed, uh, jumped timelines because of the way this looks so uh, like the galaxy. Wands are communication. A lot of people coming up in with their own opinions of the situation. Or you're teaching others about this journey. That could be for two different groups. That last. But have faith. Spirit says have faith. Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron are with you. They're, they're uh, supporting you in this light. As long as you uh, stay in the light and ask them for assistance and guidance. Divine Feminine, know that your masculine is coming forward with the Page of Cups. Uh, immature energy, but his this green would show you that his heart chakra is pure and open. Um, he's in his heart love and compassion for you. He's uh, speaking the truth as he has the little emblem there near his throat. And judgment is uh, here also for things because if we don't, you know, time is uh, an illusion, but to spirit and the universe, if you don't move when spirit says move, then they're going to come in with a judgment and give you a tower, right? So this judgment card is here. Um, it's a 20 card, two X's. Let's get some clarifiers. This was a kind of a deep energy. thought it would be lighter, fun, something bright. Let's clarify Seven of Wands. He's moving forward with out of the storm. Clarify Seven of Wands to the masculine, please. The Hierophant. Moving forward towards the Hierophant. That's his goal. That's what he aspires to be for you because he knows you're the High Priestess. He knows he has to study and work to build up to this um, and to forego any of that devil energy. Clarify the page for the masculine. I don't know why I can't even get a hold of these cards today. They don't want to be touched. <laughs> Some of the page. Alright, so we have the page of swords for uh, clarifying this. So he's not completely in his truth, but knows he is dressed, I want to say, uh, he's feeling more royal, more uh, empowered. Because that, well, he, a page is always immature energy. Sword is the truth, but it's down. A lot of blue, so this is throat chakra, so he wants to have a conversation. And five of cups, he wants to talk about what, what he's lost, what he's leaving behind, what he's lost, and... Um, to discuss, you know, are, is, are these two of cups uh, real? He's thinking maybe uh, there is it an imagination is a, or a figment of his imagination. But he wants to talk about this connection regarding this two of cups with his counterpart. And he wants to discuss it passionately because while we have the two birds up here, it's all red like passion. 
or fiery. Uh, clarify devil energy. Uh, energy for the masculines, please. Yeah, there's an end to. He wants to put an end to the ten of swords. Putting an end to it. Um, making the decision blindly. Going in faith. I hear. It's not usually the two of swords, but that's what I hear. Okay, clarify two of swords. We'll just go there, okay? Clarify two of swords for the next one. Going in faith because he knows you're the, you know, the you've been sent to him from the divine. So while he's feeling a little bit dreamy, ignoring the three-party situation. Looking up for the divine to see what else he's going to, uh, how it's going to come to him, or focusing on the uh, counterpart, the divine counterpart, divine feminine in the situation, um, because he knows that she's a gift from the divine source and doesn't want to lose or doesn't want to uh, let anyone else have that cup. So taking that faith with the two of swords just going blindly um, and going to have communication regarding that twin flame connection. Putting things down that no longer serve him. Going in and meditating, right? Healing himself so that he can become that hierophant that he knows that he has to be. after he meditates um, with the four of swords he wants to move forward with a message as a knight of wands because it's uh, in and out energy but um, perhaps he wants to just test the waters to see if he talks about this with you what you know what how your take is on it again still not sure if this is really is feeling like it. maybe it's a dream or a test maybe it'll go wrong so he's coming in as a knight because that way he can dash back out if he loses confidence. Thank you. A death to the doubt. It's right here when this fell. It's a death to the doubt. He knows you're the star. That he needs to come forward to as a king of cups to begin with. With a gift of pentacles and stability, no more fighting, putting an end to any fighting, any um, other listening to other people about which direction he should go. Temperance came in and balanced things out. Okay, let's clarify six of wands. What's this fighting against? What's she standing up against? Clarify six of wands. Okay, that ain't happening. <laughs> Clarify six of wands. The emperor. She's standing up for what she believes in, standing up for her emperor. As the Queen of Cups, because she uh, needs, because she here she is uh, full of love, like the Queen of Cups. She's uh, stepping into her Queen of Swords energy to reveal the truth from the divine source, from her intuition, from her third eye seer. Um, but ready to cut these people that are coming up against her here standing in her truth because she knows that her emperor, her hot elephant, is going to bring her that ten of cups uh, energy. Alright, don't need to clarify ten of cups. Let's see. Communication between the divine masculine and source energy. Spirit. Spirit. Clarification, please. True 
one precise clarification after the shuffle I'll switch decks if I need to. I'm feeling like I have to. Communication to the divine, trying to ask spirit um, about this connection, this uh, how this works with the one soul, two two bodies, the twin flame connection, right? Uh, he understands that he's mirroring um, and being very intuitive and reading her into not intuitive, being very telepathic and reading her uh, telepathic energy coming back and forth. Um, with the page of pentacles he doesn't have much so he's discussing this with the communication between him and the divine because he wants to be able to give that pentacle to the queen of pentacles offer her that cup of love but he's not sure he's kind of immature energy needs a lot of direction because he's new to the journey eight of pentacles he is willing to put in the work for this ace of cup love if it's truly from divine cup of love thank you spirit Anything else for the ace of pentacles? He wants to build the two, the ten of pentacles together. So he's willing to move forward. Um, yeah, out of the other parties, um, he knows the connection. He knows that uh, he can move move this connection to calmer waters and move away from the other things that were a distraction to him. He's got his hand on this one because he has chosen his divine counterpart and is ready to move forward and leave behind what no longer serves him with the Eight of Cups. herself of the eight of wands that's the uh, sorry eight of swords on the white her wands all right she is, was blinded and was keeping herself stuck but she rose up out of the tower and is manifesting she's manifesting this ten of cups this is what she wants with her divine counterpart she um, sorry he has come in with Knight of Pentacles um, communication, moving very slow. She knows he's moving uh, in towards her. She can sense his energy coming towards her that he, she is now his chosen one and ready to move forward with this connection. He knows that she's the Nine of Coins or Pentacles, that she focuses on him. He feels her healing energy that she's been sending him. Again, he was, he's got his pentacles and he's kind of just gazing, waiting for the, um, looking up to the stars like he's waiting for the divine to guide him regarding this connection. A lot of green in these cards, a lot, a lot, a lot of passion. Eight of swords, eight of swords, thank you, thank you. Four of wands, so she's, uh, once she heals these uh, regarding this family situation, 
Uh, so something in your lower world is um, keeping you from this um, four of wands stable family situation. Or perhaps it was regarding your past family. But the world is here. The world is moving forward. It's a new beginning. Okay, let's back this up. I'm For some, it's keeping you from this in your new beginning. For others, the Eight of Swords is what you need to go heal regarding your past family uh, connection. Maybe someone's divorced here, left a child either behind or lost. Or has lost a family, whether they left them or vice versa. But the world is moving forward. And your, this is a new beginning for others. It's a new beginning to have this four of wands to bring you that family with the ten of cups that we have back here somewhere. Right there. Okay. Uh, seven of wands. Clarify seven of wands. Yeah, it's going to take strength. That spirit will give you strength. Um, to so that you don't have to juggle there's no juggling there's strength to make the decision of the choices that these wands were perhaps but that's only for some because the others I saw teaching uh, speaking to them strength have faith in the journey you don't have to make the choice because spirit will guide you if you follow the light spirit will guide you listen to the messages listen to your spirit guides there's synchronicities all around you they're sending you messages this shouldn't be something you have to fight for it'll move easily through because it's a divinely guided connection Five of Wands, please. Clarify Five of Wands. Ace of Swords. Speaking your truth. An Ace. There's another Ace somewhere, I thought. For synchronicities. We have also the Leap of Faith, the Fool card. So your Ace of Wands, new beginning with the truth. Taking that leap forward of faith with the Faith card under there. It's a zero. It's between the uh, ending, right, and the beginning, uh, the one card, right? So you've got this world saying, hey, it's a new beginning, and here's the Leap of Faith forward to take that new beginning to leave behind the things that no longer serve you and know that spirit will provide for you. Uh, they will never, never leave you with what you need. It may not be what you want, but they will provide, spirit will provide you with what is needed for your higher good. I think that's the second or third time that message came out. So somebody needs to hear it. All right, eight of cups, third time eight of cups. Magician. I'm going to put these back. They can come back out if they need to. And the Empress. Yes, because she first. Let me look back at these for a second. She's birthing the new beginning. Perhaps someone's pregnant. But uh, with the new beginning, you're having faith. The new beginning because they're taking the leap 